Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bimme allemteni ve allimni bimme yenfa'ni ve zidni ilmen enneke l'alimul hakim. Allahümme akhrijna min zulumatil vahim ve akrimna bi nuril fahim ve ifte aleyna bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhel ahlakana bil hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is about vertebral hemangioma. Vertebral hemangiomas are the most common benign vertebral tumors and they are usually asymptomatic and incidentally discovered due to their characteristic feature on, um, on imaging for other reason. The incidence of vertebral hemangioma is about 10% and the majority noted on the spine. Small hemangioma cannot be seen on a radiograph and are found with more advanced CT or MRI. The occurrence of vertebral hemangioma are more infemale for unknown re reason and more symptomatic in the fourth decade of life. Radio radiologically, the classic Corduroy cloth appearance is strongly associated with vertebral hemangioma. With CT scan, we can see also the bulka dot sign or salt bubble appearance and corduroy cloth appearance. On the MRI, it is better depicted the hemangioma as it is component of fat and water and thickened it tropically appear low signal intensity in T1 and T2 images. On T1 hemangioma appear high, high intensity due to fat component and on T2 bright high intensity signal than the T1 due to high water content. On contrast MRI, significant enhancement due to high vascularity. Here, this is the corduroy cloth vertebral sign. As we see here, thickened vertical atropically seen on the sagittal CT scan, sorry, the sagittal CT scan reconstructed images, yes, and uh, MRI on T1 and T2. What is corduroy, corduroy, corduroy cloth sign? Corduroy cloth sign is vertical oriented thickened tropically seen in intra osseous hemangioma and the uh, hypodense area also due to fat and these are thickened tropically due to osseous hemangioma as we see in this vertebra this vertebra it is a traumatic compression fracture here another example of Roy cloth sign, vertical thickened tropically of the vertebra on the CT scan. Another example, vertical thickened vertical tropically on L1 vertebra on the sagittal CT scan. This is an MRI. And this is the T1, and this is the T2, and these are the thickened vertical 
topically seen as hypo intense lines beta visualized on t2 in this example and these are due to thickened vertebra on the back ground of the fatty component of the hemangioma with more water in the T2. Here, this is a magnified view, and these are the vertebral, vertical, tropically thickened, hypo-intense area in T1 and T2. And this is the T1 here. As we said, it is hypo-intense area in T1 and T2. The second sign, it is called Bolka dot sign or salt paper sign. And seen in the axial cut, either on the CT scan or MRI. As we see here, this is the T2 and T1. The background is fat, and here the background is high intense in the CT scan. And the dots on the CT scan, it is high dense, and the dots on the CMRI, it is high intense on T1 and T2. Here, this patient has vertebral hemangioma. These two patients have vertebral hemangioma, and we see hypo-dense lesion on the background with dense tropically seen on the cross axial CT scan. And this is the called Bolka dot sign. This result from replacement of the normal cancerous bone by thickened vertically tropically surrounded by fat or vascular lacunae. Here, this is MRI patient, and as we said, on the these are the dots, black dots. It is due to thickened tropically, and it is on the background on fat, and we see it as black dots on the background of fat. This is the Bolka dot sign or salt paper sign. This is another example with a Volca dot sign or salt and paper appearance sign. Here, CT scan. This is the axial cut and this is the sagittal cut. And these are the vertical tropically and these are the uh, Bolka dot sign, and this is the corduroy sign. Here, another example, Bolka dot sign, and this is the corduroy sign. Here, this is MRI patient, this is T1, and this is T2. With this patient, we see the vertical tropicalization and the Bolka dot sign on this axial cut. Here, another T1 MRI. We see high bar intense lesion in the T1, and this is another patient with high bar intense lesion on the T2, and it is more high bar intense on the T2 than T1 because of fat and water component of the hemangioma. Here, another patient with hemangioma seen in T2, T1, and this is the axial cut T2. This is the how to differentiate typical from uh, atypical vertebral hemangioma. Here, this patient with a typical hemangioma demonstrate in this 
L1 vertebral body, as we see here, the lesion, but in the T1, we see the coarse trabeculae and the bulka dot sign. And the patient also has uh, multiple hemangiomas, a small vertebral hemangioma in the, uh, uh, the rest of the lumbar vertebrae and the uh, S1. Here is another patient with a typical hemangioma involving the T2. We see it, it is hypointense in T1 due to lack of fat, and it is the T2. It is a little bit hyperintense, and this is homogeneous enhancement, but on the CT scan, this is the typical Volta dot sign, and this it is this patient, it is confirmed, has a hemangioma on histopathology. Uh, this patient has multiple hemangiomas involving the dorsal and the lumbar spine, and see one of the hemangiomas. This is the T2. It is extended to the intradurally, as we see, see here, in the uh, on the axial cut MRI, and this is the enhancement compressing the theca sac. And this we call it aggressive hemangioma, and this aggressive hemangioma of uh, symptomatic and sometimes has indistinct cortex with irregular honeycombing appearance, and uh, also uh, sometimes need uh, to be treated uh, with embolization or uh, sclerotherapy or vertebroblasty. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika.